Very good evening and welcome to our evening prayer on this Wednesday, the 28th of April, 2021. We begin our evening prayer with our prayers of preparation, as always. O God, make speed to save us, O Lord, make haste to help us. In your resurrection, O Christ, let heaven and earth rejoice. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Sovereign Lord, the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. To you be glory and praise for ever. From the deep waters of death, you brought your people to new birth by raising your Son to life in triumph. Through him, dark death has been destroyed and radiant life is everywhere restored. As you call us out of darkness into his marvellous light, may our lives reflect his glory and our lips repeat the endless song. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. So the um, hymn I've chosen for this evening is uh, Christ is Alive. Christ is alive, let Christians sing, the cross stands empty to the sky, then streets and homes with praises ring, love drowned in death shall never die. Christ is alive, no longer bound to distant years in Palestine, but saving, healing here and now, and touching every place and time. In every insult, grief, and war, where colors gone, or wealth divide, Christ suffers still, yet lives the more, and lives where even hope has died. Women and men in age and youth can feel the Spirit hear the call and find the way, the life, the truth revealed in Jesus, freed for all. Christ is a light and comes to bring good news to this and every earth and sky and ocean ring with joy, with justice, love and praise. As so the organist sets off, we continue evening prayer with our opening prayer. That this evening may be holy, good and peaceful. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise now and forever. Amen. And the psalm, first psalm appointed for this evening is Psalm 47. Clap your hands together, O you peoples. O sing to God with shouts of joy. For the Lord, most high, is to be feared. He is the great king over all the earth. He subdued the peoples under us and the nations under our feet. He has chosen our heritage for us, the pride of Jacob, whom he loves. God has gone up with a merry noise, the Lord with the sound of the trumpet. Oh, sing praise to God, sing praise. Sing praises to our king, sing praises. For God is king of all the earth, sing praises with all your skill. God reigns over the nations. God has taken his seat upon his holy throne. The nobles of the people are gathered together with the people of the God of Abraham. For the powers of the earth belong to God, and he is very highly exalted. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. And Psalm 48 
Great is the Lord and highly to be praised in the city of our God. His holy mountain is fair and lifted high, the joy of all the earth. On Mount Zion, the divine dwelling place, stands the city of the great king. In her palaces, God has shown himself to be a sure refuge. For behold, the kings of the earth assembled and swept together to, forward together. They saw and were dumbfounded, dismayed, they fled in terror, writhing, trembling seized them there. They writhed like a woman in labor, as when the east wind shatters the ships of Tarshish. As we have heard, so we have seen in the city of the Lord of hosts, the city of our God, that God has established forever. We have waited on your loving kindness, O Lord, in the midst of your temple, as with your name, O God, so your name reaches to the ends of the earth. Your right hand is full of justice. Let Mount Zion rejoice and the daughters of Judah be glad because of your judgments, O Lord. Walk around Zion and go round about her. Count all her towers, consider well her bulwarks, pass through her citadels. That you may tell those that come after that such is our God for ever and ever. It is he that shall be our guide for evermore. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. And a reading from Exodus chapter 33. The Lord said to Moses, Go, leave this place, you and the people whom you have brought out, out of the land of Egypt, and go to the land which I swore to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, saying, To your descendants I will give it. I will send an angel before you. I will drive out the Canaanites, the Amorites, the Hittites, the Perizzites, the Hivites, and the Jebusites. Go to a land flowing with milk and honey, but I will not go up among you, or I would consume you on the way, for you are a stiff-necked people. When the, Lord, when the people heard these harsh words, they mourned, and no one put on ornaments. For the Lord had said to Moses, Say to the Israelites, You are a stiff-necked people. For if for a single moment I should go up amongst you, I would consume you. Now take off your ornaments, and I will decide what to do to you. Therefore, the Israelites stripped themselves of their ornaments from Mount Horeb onwards. Now Moses used to take a tent and pitch it outside the camp, far off from the camp, and he called it the Tent of Meeting. And everyone who sought the Lord would go out to the Tent of Meeting, which was outside the camp. Whenever Moses went out to the tent, all the people would rise and stand, each one of them at the entrance to their tents, and watch until Moses had gone into the tent. When Moses entered the tent, the pillar of cloud would descend and stand at the entrance of the tent, and the Lord would speak with Moses. Then, sorry, when all the people saw the pillar of cloud standing at the entrance of the tent, all the people would rise and bow, all of them, at the entrance of their tents. Thus the Lord used to speak to Moses face to face as one speaks to a friend. Then he would return to the camp, but his young assistant, Joshua son of Nun, would not leave the tent. Moses said to the Lord, See, you have said to me, bring up this people, but you have not let me know whom you would send with me. Yet you have said, I know by your name, I know you by your name, and you have found favor in my sight. Now, if I have found favor in your sight, show me your ways so that I may know you and find favor in your sight. Consider, too, that this nation is your people, he said. My presence will go with you and I will give you rest. And he said to him, if your presence will not go, do not carry us up from here. For how shall it be known that I have found favor in your sight, I and your people, unless you go with us? In this way, we shall be distinct I and your people from every people on the face of the earth. The Lord said to Moses, I will do the very thing that you have asked, for you have found favor in my sight, and I know you by name. Moses said, Show me your glory, I pray. And he said, I will make all my goodness pass before you, and I will proclaim before you the name of the Lord, and I will be gracious to whom I will be gracious, and show mercy on whom I will show mercy. But he said, 
You cannot see my face, for no one shall see me and live. And the Lord continued, See, there is a place by me where you shall stand on the rock, and while my glory passes by, I will put you in the cleft of the rock, and I will cover you with my hand until I have passed by. Then I will take my hand away, and you shall see my back, but my face shall not be seen. Here ends the first reading. And the Song of Faith. God raised Christ from the dead, the Lamb without spot or stain. Alleluia. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. By his great mercy we have been born anew to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead into an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled and unfading, kept in heaven for you, who are being protected by the power of God through faith, for a salvation ready to be revealed at the last time. You are ransomed from the futile ways of your ancestors, not with perishable things like silver or gold, but with the precious blood of Christ, like that of a lamb without spot or stain. Through him you have confidence in God, whom, who raised him from the dead and gave him glory, so that your faith and hope are set on God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. God raised Christ from the dead, the Lamb without spot or stain. Alleluia. The reading from St. Luke's Gospel, chapter 3. As the people were filled with expectation and all were questioning in their hearts concerning John whether he might be the Messiah, John answered all of them by saying, I baptize you with water, but one who is more powerful than I is coming. I am not worthy to untie the thong of his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. His winnowing fork is in his hand to clear his threshing floor and to gather the wheat into his granary, but the chaff he will burn with unquenchable fire. So with many other exhortations he proclaimed the good news to the people. But Herod, the ruler who had been rebuked by him because of Herodias, his brother's wife, and because of all the evil things that Herod had done, added to them all by shutting John up in prison. Now when all the people were baptized, and when Jesus also had been baptized and was praying, the heaven was opened, and the Spirit descended upon him in bodily form like a dove. And a voice came from heaven, you are my son, the beloved. With you I am well pleased. Here is the second reading and our responsory. The Lord is my strength and my song and has become my salvation. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. I shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. He has become my salvation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. And the Magnificat, the stone which the builders rejected, has become the chief cornerstone. Alleluia. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. Alleluia. And so we come to our prayers of intercession. Pray for the Diocese of Brechin in the Scottish Episcopal Church today for its Bishop Andrew. We pray for the newly appointed Provost of Dundee Cathedral, praying for her and for her ministry. We pray for this church, for this mission area, for this parish, 
And we pray also for the Milan mission area in this diocese, for Sue Highton, the mission area leader, praying for all those who ring the bells in our churches as a call to worship, giving thanks particularly for the ministry of those who in this church ring bells and who look after the bells and care for the people in that way. We pray as always for Gregory, our own bishop, giving thanks for him and for the responsibilities he bears on our behalf. And also we pray for John Lomas, the Archdeacon of Wrexham. We continue to pray for all those involved in healthcare in our country, for those developing, producing and rolling out vaccines. Pray for those standing for political office at this time and for all those who have special responsibility praying for a spirit of integrity amongst them all. We pray for Colin and all those who are in nursing and residential care, for Daniel and all who are in prison. We pray for those who are sick as always, praying today for Richard, Tim, Louise, Derek, Joanne, Mo, Malcolm, Gordon, James, Mal, Anne, Nancy, Peggy, Mark, Harry, Mervanwi and Dot, remembering those who are bereaved, among them Nandita, and praying for the souls of the faithful departed, among them Nero. And so our form of intercession. On this day the Lord has made, let us pray for the people he has redeemed, that we may live as those who believe in the triumph of the cross. Lord, have mercy that all people may receive the good news of his victory. Lord, have mercy, that those born to new life in the waters of baptism may know the power of his resurrection. Lord, have mercy, that those who suffer pain and anguish may find healing and peace in the wounds of Christ. Lord, have mercy, <clears throat> that in the undying love of Christ we may be united with all who have died in his faith. Lord, have mercy. Let us commend the world in which Christ rose from the dead to the mercy and protection of God. And so the collect for today. Almighty God, whose Son Jesus Christ is the resurrection and the life, raise us, we pray, who trust in him from the death of sin to the life of righteousness, that we may seek those things which are above where he reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Rejoicing in God's new creation, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Thank you very much for joining me again this evening, and uh, wish you a very good evening indeed.